Protesters have blockaded the headquarters of an energy company in Staffordshire. Around 20 protesters say they've shut down the Quadrilla site in Litchfield, but the company tells us employees are still working. The protest group, No Dash for Gas, says it's concerned about the environmental impact of hydraulic fracturing, the technique for releasing natural gas from shale rock. Callum Watkinson joins us live from Litchfield. Callum, Quadrilla are facing protests across the country about this, aren't they? That's right, Bob. The focus of these protests has been Quadrilla's site near the village of Balcombe in West Sussex, where they are drilling, uh, but for oil, not for natural gas. And nevertheless, no dash for gas thought that would be an appropriate focus for their protests this week. And they've also been conducting similar activity at the headquarters of the PR company Quadrilla use in London and also here at the company's own headquarters. Now, what the protesters are concerned about is hydraulic fracturing a process whereby water is forced into the ground at high pressure uh, to open up cracks in the layer of shale that covers much of the country and allow the gas to flow out. Now, there's no fracking going on down in Balcom. There's certainly no fracking going on here in Litchfield. Uh, but nevertheless, Quadrilla is the only company that has so far conducted this process to any meaningful degree at a site in the northwest near Blackpool, which is why they and their headquarters here have become the focus of these protesters' attention. Quadrilla came to Sussex, so we came to Quadrilla to let them know how destructive and annoying it is to have people coming uninvited without any kind of consultation into your community and messing about. Now, we are told by their colleagues here that four protesters gained entry to the building this morning and they say at least two of those are still inside. As for Quadrilla, they say their employees are still working. They say that everything they are doing is legal, approved and safe. And they point out everything they do uh, is done to enforceable standards, while some protesters, they say, believe they can set out and follow their own. Callum, thank you for that report.